So before we start this video, I just want to take us through a little bit of an evolution real quick of my bag because I think we've all done this before. We've all had many bags. We've all had this bag, that bag. So this was my first real estate bag right here. Uh, Portage travel bag, really good bag, never let me down, but my broker once said, Brandon, you look like a high school senior. You got to get rid of it. I did. And then I went to that bag right there, the uh, solo. Actually, they're both solos. But I went to that one. It was a good bag for me. But a little too bulky, a little too boxy. Didn't really like it. So then I went to this one right here. Once again, good bag nothing wrong with it um actually i got that one the last that was the last bag i got that wasn't the bag i'm gonna show you in this video but that was the last bag i bought really good bag really cool the thing i didn't like about this bag was it has two wheels which don't get me wrong sometimes two wheels ain't bad but as you know, four is better. So that brings us to this bag right here, the Bugatti Madison, really cool bag. As I told you, it has four wheels on it. Actually, this is a very sturdy bag. If you look on the inside, very deep. Can pretty much get my whole hand down there. You got the pocket right there. Got that nice little pocket and if you stand this up you can see right down in there now that's the bag the question is what goes in the bag right so what goes in my bag is very simple so we're gonna do this as if it's a school day but if this wasn't a school day this was a work day or this was a travel day I will be putting the 368 uh, real estate manifesting journal in it I really need to get back to this but this has been a really good book for me I have my business has grown because of this book thank you a lot but since this is a school or travel day not a work day my binder you know this has pretty much a little bit you know notebook important documents extra pens because who doesn't need an extra pen that always goes in there uh, extra this is more like catch all of extra stuff extra adapters extra whatever I do use the clear uh, Alpha Enduro, no, Enduro ANC, whatever. Uh, can't go anywhere without my trusty tablet. It is the P11 Lenovo. Since we're doing a school day, gotta have some school books, right? You never can have enough pins, folks. Never. But the pins go right here. And you know what? Let's just throw them down in there. And while we're throwing stuff in, here is my Samsung Chromebook 4 Plus 15.6. Now, this is the reason why this is not for a while this was not the bag I was using it says this pocket can fit a 15.6 laptop you have to literally struggle to get this thing in do not make a that's what she said joke Michael but now that we got that in 
if you have that, this is the Satechi, I think they call it the S1, Slim X1 keyboard. Of course, keys. Sometimes I get a little hungry, so Fit Butters is somewhere near me. If I need a little energy, Ghost Burn. Every once in a while I will sweat, so here is whatever t shirt I have laying around. And because my head gets cold, I will always keep a beanie somewhere. Let's not forget the Satechi, I think they, I forget what they call this, the M1 Bluetooth. This is a really good one. I love this. And last but not least, the, because I, you always got to be closing and you always got to have something on you for my business. Magnets, business card stickers, and business card magnets. Oh, and since this is a travel day, deodorant, toothbrush, soap, uh, wet wipes, toothpaste, little toilet treats for just in case, and of course, redundancy, just in case, because everybody knows I love my beanies. One extra beanie. Alright guys, that's what's in my bag. What's in yours?